Installing the Aerial Pixel light painting mounts on the DJI Air 3, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing, it's greatly appreciated. So as mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to be talking about the light painting kit that we developed for the DJI Air 3. Uh, you can simply use uh, loom cube style lights or Ulanzi also makes some. Uh, any payload really that's 1.6 inches cubed or smaller will work and uh, they also have to have a quarter 20 thread on them. So first off, what is light painting? Light painting, you've probably seen a bunch of examples of it on the internet already. You essentially use your drone to paint light on your subject while you're standing on the ground using your ground camera, whether it be a mirrorless digital SLR camera to take long exposure photographs of your subject and it will essentially paint light where you need it to. So first off, to install these, it might be easier for you to install the light onto the mount before actually installing it on the drone. You can do it either way, you can do it after the fact, um, but I really recommend uh, just going ahead and getting it on there and getting it in the rough position before you mount it to the drone. It's just a little easier to do. So each of our mounts essentially mount between the front and back arms of the drone. Uh, the smaller clip is the front arm and the more splayed wider clip is the rear arm. And then in the center, you see that there is a quarter 20 bolt there, as well as a stop nut so you can get the angle of your light just right. So the easiest way is to go ahead and just screw the light on. We'll go ahead and do that. Now, usually a slight downward angle is preferred on these just so you're missing the, uh, the front arm of the drone. Um, so just an angle just about like that is usually good to start out with, but just go ahead and get it roughly in the position that you want it. And then you tighten that stop nut all the way down as tight as you can against that light. Now you wanna make sure that it can't turn. You obviously don't want it spinning off in the air. That would be bad. Uh, don't want any uh, falling projectiles. Uh, so go ahead and make sure that's on as tight as you can get it. And then we're ready to install it on the drone. So to install it on the drone, it's easier to start off with the front arm first. We're gonna, instead of, you can see I've got this other one installed already. It's fairly tight to the body right here. Um, we're gonna start off by installing this front clip somewhat toward the, uh, the motor portion here. Uh, it's a little thinner out there and it just snaps on a little bit easier. And once that is snapped in, you just slide it down. And then once you're just roughly about a half an inch or so from the body of the drone, you'll kind of feel where, it, where it's the right spot because the back clip then lines up with the back arm. You can just snap that back clip on the back arm. And removal is simply just the opposite of what you just did. We do have some uh, finger pry points on these to help you pop them off. Uh, you can simply pop them off like that. Again, slide it down toward the, uh, toward the front motor and then pull it right off. So that's it for this video. All the products we used are down in the description below, uh, including obviously our light painting kit for the Air 3, as well as some light options for you to choose from. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us either in the comments below or on our website. We have a Facebook Connect button in the lower right-hand corner, and you can reach us through Messenger that way. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.